April. So today I'm going to show you how to get this Miss 45 Angel of Vengeance Thena Zoe Lund inspired look. Um, so Miss 45 is an American exploitation film made in 1981 directed by Abel Ferrara um, and starring Zoe Lund and I, I really enjoyed this film. I think stylistically I, I thought the film was really cool. I really do like how uh, Thena, the character, was styled towards like middle to end of the film. There's a scene at the end with like she's wearing a nun's habit and things get crazy. But um, just a little forewarning, usually I tell you guys like, oh you should watch this movie because I mean when I enjoy something I want to like share that with other people. I will say with this film, proceed with caution. Like I said, it's an American exploitation film. There are um, a couple of scenes in the beginning of the film that are kind of hard to watch and stomach through because of how realistic they are. So maybe check out IMDb or Wikipedia and kind of read the plot of the film before you watch it, just so you know what you're in for. And um, yeah, because I don't want any of you guys to be triggered or feel surprised because you've seen something that was um, kind of graphic and, and a little bit hard to stomach. So um, just be warned on that. Um, but aside from that, let's just get on to the tutorial. So this look calls for very smooth porcelain skin. So I'm going to take my Benefit Professional Primer and I'm going to put this all around my nose and a little bit onto my cheeks and forehead and nose. It just really smooths the skin and makes everything look nice. So I want a very heavily made up face. So I'm going to take this Rimmel London Foundation and I'm gonna start off by applying this all over my face. As you can see, I'm just kind of putting it under my eyes, around my nose, on my chin. And now I'm taking an even fuller coverage foundation and putting some of that on the back of my hand and taking this angled face brush and I'm just buffing that all into my skin. It's very full coverage. I find the combination of these two foundations really gives a nice finish. And yeah, just make sure that everything's blended very well, get all the lines, work your magic. Continuing on with the porcelain skin, I'm going to take some Cody Airspun powder and I'm going to set my under eyes using this tiny like domed brush. And then I decided later that I just wanted to set the entire face, so I'm taking a powder puff and I am pressing that loose powder all over. Once again, just to give it a very soft matte finish. I don't know about you guys, but I always get makeup all up in my eyebrows, so I'm just going to take some brow gel and I'm going to run this really quickly through my eyebrows just so I can see where they're at and how they're looking. So we're actually going to start off with the cheeks today and I'm taking this Milani Romantic Rose blush. It's a soft dusty pink color and I'm applying this onto my cheeks and sweeping this into my temples. It's kind of like contouring or bronzing but with a blush instead. And the reason why I'm starting off with the blush first is so that I can see where my face is at. Now I'm going to take this super huge wide shader brush and I'm going to load up my brush with some more of that blush and we're going to pat this all over the eyelid from lash line to brow bone. And while you're at it, go ahead and sweep that into your temples as well. So one really cool benefit of using your blush on your eyes for this look is that it keeps the whole face looking cohesive, like everything matches. Now to add a little bit of depth, I'm going to take that same shader brush and I'm going to dip into a medium tone brown. You can go with something either cooler or warmer depending on whatever you have. And I'm going to go ahead and pat this on the outer corner of my eye and then I'm going to sweep it up towards the tail of my eyebrow and into my temple. Buffing out the edges with a huge powder brush just keeps everything looking very soft. With whatever product is left on my brush, I'm just going to sweep that onto my bottom lash line. 
I'm gonna take a really creamy black pencil eyeliner and I'm gonna smudge this onto my top lash line, on my bottom lash line, I'm gonna put this on my waterline and tight line, it's going absolutely everywhere. But you want something that's really creamy and easy to blend and you'll see why next. So I'm going to take a very soft pencil brush and I'm going to go ahead and smudge all of that eyeliner and make everything look very soft, diffused, and blended. And yes, we are going back in with that Milani blush. And with that pencil brush, I'm going to pick up some of this blush and I'm going to sweep this all over where we applied the black. And that's just going to help soften it. We are utilizing that huge shader brush again. And I'm going to pick up this burgundy color called Punk from this Gwen Stefani palette. And I'm going to pat this on the outer corner of my eye on the lid. And I'm going to slowly bring that up and sweep that into the temples and towards the brow. You really want to make sure this looks very soft and blended. I was having some issues with patchiness. And I'll show you how you can fix that in the next step. You know, if that happens to you. You might get it right the first time. I did it though. <laughs> also, don't be afraid to use big powder brushes on your eyes. I love it to blend makeup. It really makes everything look soft. And as you guessed it, we're going to use that rose blush again and that shader brush. And I'm going to go ahead and use this blush just to help soften the eye and blend out any mistakes, any patchiness. It kind of just fixes everything. And once again, I'm back here with that huge powder brush. It's a lifesaver, I'm telling you. So this next step is super easy. Just go ahead and curl your eyelashes. And to hold that curl, I'm going to use a black waterproof mascara. And I'm just going to do a quick coat on my top eyelashes and then a really light coat on my bottom. I don't want my bottom lashes to look too heavy. Now I don't want too much volume, but I do want some length on the outer corners, so I'm going to go ahead and use just a half eyelash on the outer ends of my eyes. And if you thought we were done with blush, well, I'm sorry, we're not. <laughs> I'm going to use this Coastal Scents palette, and I'm picking up a red blush with just a touch of this very vibrant pink, and I'm going to go ahead and deepen my cheek contour. This is the 80s, you guys, late 70s early 80s they were a fan of that studio 54 disco face so go ahead and blush it up cheeks temples everywhere now Zoe Lund during this time had very full eyebrows so I'm just taking a black pencil it's a little bit waxy and I'm going to go ahead and apply this into my eyebrows. I'm using a very light hand. I don't want to go too hard. But the wax is essentially just grabbing onto the hairs and making them look a little bit fuller without looking too ridiculous. And I'm also going to go through them with a little brush just to make sure that everything looks nice and it doesn't look clumpy. And then to set them, I'm going to use some more of that brow gel. We're almost done with the look, so I'm going to take this wine colored lip pencil and I'm going to go ahead and start lining my lips. I want to overline them slightly just because Dana has these really gorgeous full lips and mine aren't as full. Um, so this is a wine colored lip liner, but if you have like a cherry red, I would go ahead and suggest you use that instead. But I actually don't have a lot of red lip liners, if you can believe that. I know, wild. So now I'm going in really hard with Max Ruby Woo. It's a cool toned red. I'm going in straight with the tube and I'm just like applying and applying and applying and applying a whole lot of red lipstick. 
And next I'm going to take just a little lip brush and I'm going to go ahead and blend that lipstick with the lip liner. I don't want there to be a super obvious line. But if you use that cherry lip liner instead, then you probably don't have to do this. Also, shout out to all you babes with crooked mouths like me. So I noticed that my lash band was kind of like showing through, so I'm just taking an angled brush and some black eyeshadow, and I'm covering any lash glue because I missed that earlier. And this next step isn't necessary, but there's something so nice about just doing a little spritz of perfume. It makes you feel put together. And as if I didn't have enough face time in this video already, here's a little clip of me being narcissistic as usual. And this is it for the completed look. So I must say that I am quite a fan of this makeup look. Um, it makes me feel very powerful and I think that's one of the things that Abel tried to tell you um, in his film, you know, obviously Thana had lost, she had gone through something really, really traumatic in the beginning of the film and there is a sense of loss there, a loss of power and a loss of self. And I think that, um, you know, her regaining that power obviously was like the, the main <laughs> plot of the film, you know, chasing men down with the 45 and, you know, giving them, <laughs> giving them something. Um, but I think that, um, it was a clever, clever use of makeup. You know, her makeup got a little bit more heavier and stronger as the film progressed. And, and I think it just showed, um, it, you know, it was a good, a good way to show some character development. If I'm making any sense, look at me talk about movies as if I know what I'm talking about. I don't. Um, anyways, but yeah, I'm just a huge fan of a really, like, heavy like I think of that Patrick Nagel face the Guy Bourdon um, Robert Palmer girl I love like a really heavily made up eye and a really heavily made up lip it's just man it's just a look that I'm really really into but yeah that's all I have to say um, aside from thank you for watching um, I'm gonna leave a list of all the products that I use down below in the description box if you guys have any questions you can feel free to leave those down below as well and I think I'm done and also this eyelash you guys I don't know why it's sitting on my eyes so weird um I had trimmed the lashes I didn't have any half eyelashes and maybe that's why I think I trimmed it not the same length as the other so yeah if you guys are noticing that I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, I'm done talking. Thank you again for watching, and I will see you guys later. Bye. What in the actual fuck?